Let's talk about cholesterol, menopause, and aging. As we get older, our cholesterol does go up. Typically, men have higher cholesterol than women, but during menopause, there usually is a spike in cholesterol in women. Now, before I get too much into that, I just want to let you know that the body does make cholesterol. It makes a lot. In fact, 75 to 80 percent of all the cholesterol in your body is made by your own body. Why? Because all of your cell membranes need it. Also, cholesterol is required to make bile, vitamin D, and sex hormones, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, cortisol, and there's several other hormones. But the question is, why would a female going through menopause have an increased amount of cholesterol? Well, it has to do with this hormone right here, estrogen. As the estrogen decreases during menopause, which happens dramatically and significantly, you're going to get an increase in cholesterol because estrogen acts as an antioxidant. And as we have less antioxidants, we're more susceptible to getting damage in the arteries, in different parts of the body. And so you really want to look at cholesterol as the fireman to put out the fire. So cholesterol is really a band-aid to come in there with the help of calcium and some protein to seal the lesion or the inflamed damaged artery. And so to understand cholesterol very simply, you have two types. You have LDL, HDL. These are proteins that are transporting the cholesterol in and out of the liver. So the LDL, which is considered the bad cholesterol, is really transporting the cholesterol from the liver to the cell. And the HDL, which is considered the good, is transporting it back from the cell back to the liver for recycling. So as long as we have an exchange there, we're totally fine. Now, I've done videos on this recently. When you have high LDL, what you have to realize is there's two types of LDL. One is a bad, one is a good. And so I recently released a video on my wife's cholesterol, which was high, as well as the LDL. But if you look deeper and you take an advanced lipid profile, you'll notice if the person's on a low-carb diet and they're eating healthy, that the type of LDL is actually the large buoyant. It's not the small dense. And so it's not the bad type of LDL. But my wife actually has gone through menopause. She has decreased estrogen. And so she has less antioxidants. And so one of the things she does is she eats a lot of food with antioxidants, which I recommend to everyone. And so the significance of this video is this. If you are going through menopause, if you're getting older, okay, you're going to have less of these right here. So that means that you have to eat cleaner. You have to have less sugar and less refined carbs. And that will keep this from creating damage. And you won't need the firemen to come in to patch anything up. And secondly, at the same time, you want to make sure you're having enough food, high in antioxidants, to counter any effect of a drop in estrogen. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof your immune system. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before